What is going on guys? So uh, this is my comment section from Bombers and Worth under my video yesterday. Wow. Wow. So uh, whenever you make a video and you talk about something that you think needs changing, right? These are all opinions, like all opinions. Uh, obviously, I didn't ask for everybody to agree with me, but there are a lot of people who came out of the woodwork in this one. Motherfucker. Holy shit. And all of their points were not, you know, a, a medium. You know, I, I basically had the people who were like, look, that's a decent idea, or maybe I don't like it, but whatever. And then we have people who are like, I lost all respect for you! It's like... Bro, I just gave two suggestions that I thought would better my experience as a fighter pilot. I run into a lot of people who run in bombers. I, I, I understand that. And yes, I focused on top tier gameplay because that's where it matters. Um, I'm going to read through the comments and give my answers, you know, give rebuttals or whatever you'd like to say. If you still think you hate me because of this opinion, that's completely fucking fine. But... It's ridiculous, you know, it's 2017, we can't have a normal fucking conversation, people are like, you're stupid, it's like, you're stupid for this, it's like, I proved points, I didn't call anybody bad, I just said that bomber pilots who run are pussies, that's basically it, and if you fall, if the shoe fits, fucking wear it, you know, but if you want to get mad at me, that's fucking fine, I understand, I can take the criticism. But basically, the point of this video was we don't need any more top tier bombers, and I think the bomber gameplay right now needs to be fixed. There are other methods of fixing it, you know? There has to be. It can't just be my method. I think a PvE mode would be pretty dope, and like thinking about it even more, what if there was a PvE mode where it was bombers versus fighters, right? And the fighters were like, let's say the German 109s could spawn in on, on a certain team. It's like an event, and everybody on the American team has to be in B-17s. And, you know, something like that. I don't know. You know, whatever. We can think about it. But I'm going to read some of these comments because, Jesus Christ, these people are not read up. They just speak from the heart because they fly bombers 24-7. And I get it. I get that that's a different meta of the game. Fucking trust me. I get it. But holy shit, other people have opinions too. All right? And you don't have to fucking attack me or anybody in my comment section because you like flying bombers. All right? Like I said, if the shoe fits, fucking wear it. So uh, this was my response, and I believe that this was pretty good, you know, after, you know, whatever. You can read that on your own. In this, um, these guys are talking about Sidewinders and Halo. Uh, Slick, I've gone through probably most of your rebuttals at this point, reading through the comments, and honestly, it seems like you only care about top-tier gameplay, which is true, because top-tier gameplay is pretty much the only gameplay ruined by long-range bombers, long-range strategic bombers. That's because long-range strategic bombers weren't necessarily long-range strategic bombers until late war. Um, until the B-29 was introduced, even. The B-17 is not... They call it the Flying Fortress, but them bitches went down fast. You know, the B-29 is a different level of plane. And I'm pr primarily in this video talking about the TU-4 and the B-29, how they both can ruin um, people's experience, right? Uh, guess what? There's a lot of people who don't give two fucks about top tier. See, again, like, he's angry at me because I am talking about top tier. And it's like, yes, there are a lot of people who don't care about top tier, but mainly the people who don't care about top tier don't play it. I don't know about you guys, but when I grinded, and when I, yeah, you could say I golded everything, but I didn't, when I started playing this game, my goal was to reach a certain tier, and that was Jets, <laughs> you know? And once I got to Jets, I like playing Jets. That doesn't mean I don't go back and play tier, you know, three or two sometimes, but... God damn, that's like end game. That's what people grind for is that top tier meta, I thought. I, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but like, I'm not talking about tier three. I never did. All right. Um, you don't just modify an entire game to fit top tier. Why? Because it's less fun for the people grinding out the rest. Lower tiers offer a lot of dynamic gameplay centered around bombers and the actual threat they pose. If you see there's a problem, usually in war, you adapt. And guess what? When I see high tier bombers that can nuke my bases fast, I go right after them first. So this is this is the biggest issue that I'm trying to get a point, like, uh, get across. This this guy is saying he goes after the bombers first, which is fantastic. I don't doubt you do. You can't reach them. Um, I had a game on Hokkaido. I'll show you some footage right now. Uh, as hard as I climbed in my 5.7 Griffin spit, I could not reach the B-29s. As hard as I climbed. I have gameplay, which I'll also show you in this video, where I run on two engines because I got into a B-29 fight with another B-29. Don't ask me how that happened. Matchmaking's fucked, but 
Uh, I got another fight. He knocked out two of my engines. I was still able to climb to two uh, 7K, 7.5K. It's like, guys, if people want to do it, they will run. They will be able to. The B-29's max speed at its altitude is 631 kph. One of the only planes in the game that can catch that is a Ta-152. But what happens if you're on Hokkaido? Come on. There is a problem here, but the issue, the issue is I didn't come up with the perfect solution. And, you know, I don't think anybody can. We have to talk about it. But getting mad about this is fucking ridiculous. I'm sure you probably noticed others do, too. Um, if you want to, if players want to ignore that the threat those bombers pose, in reality, that's their fault, and I have zero sympathy for them. Honestly, probably a bigger issue is Gaijin's Mac Major, which I agree with. The MM is shit. Don't get me wrong. It properly matched teams. I I agree. Like you know, I think if the matchmaker properly matched teams, it would be a better a better thing. It would be better. Um. Seriously, you bitch about how bombers ruin the game as you wreck a P2 in a jet. Shake my fucking head. Who put that P2, uh, P8 in the fucking matchmaker? Let's answer that question. Did I put him in my 9.0 game? No. He fucking queued with somebody to get in my 9.0 game. That's why I killed him. So that's not even my issue. <laughs> like, what? Like, the P8 is not even in this discussion. <laughs> it should not be in this discussion. And I don't want the P8 to be gone. It has a huge bomb. Like, that's fucking dope, dude. God damn it, people are dumb. <laughs> like, what? How? How do you say that? Like, did you write that out and think about that? Like, I put him in the matchmaker. I'm mad at that Peshka 8 player or Pelieko for whatever the fuck that thing's called. I'm mad at him because he's in my 9.0 jet game. Yes, I am mad at him because he's taking the spot of another jet on his team. There could have been a MiG 17 in his spot. But no, he had to queue with one of his friends who was in a jet and ruin the matchmaking for everybody else. So, no, I feel no sympathy for him. And, yes, I murked his ass. God damn. Um, all they need to do is air superiority as a win condition. I agree with this 100%. If they did something like that, that would be fantastic. So, it would limit, eliminate the fact that bombers can run. My whole issue is the fact where bombers can run from you um, and climb, outclimb you. Now, if there is a way to make them still live and have their game worth it, but also not ruin the gameplay for the people wanting to just fight fighters and have dogfights, that would be fantastic. So maybe a ticket bleed after there's one bomber left and, you know, four fighters on the enemy team, maybe there should be a skew to ticket bleed or something. I don't know. Um, I think that would be a great idea. Uh, um... See, as a bomber pilot, I find your opinion interesting, but the idea of AI is the only last 60 second solution, I think. Sorry for the bad English. See, I appreciate this comment. Somebody who plays bombers can read, you know, can listen and form an opinion and understand that I'm not trying to attack a way of life. Um, and this guy goes, I know right to that fucking PEA comment. Like, are you dumb? Are you, Like, guys, guys, you two people, whoever said that, do you guys, do you guys have brains? Do you guys think about this? Do you think I put that Peshka 8 in? Do you not think he's taking a MiG-17 slot? Jesus Christ. Yeah, there here we go. Rotor. Rotor's in G-Squad. He goes, what's your point? Someone up uh, up that into top tier. P8 doesn't fit within what he's talking about. He's talking about long-range strategic bombers, the B-29s that climb to space and outperforms the planes of faces. And this is 100% true. This is what I'm trying to get the point across. I'm talking primarily about the B-29 and the TU-4. I guess you could say the IL-28 is kind of in there if they want to run because they can all game. They can hide, but um, they're not as bad as like a TU-4. The thing with the TU-4 is that makes it so broken is it's an 8.0 prop bomber, right? That has the defensive armament of a fucking coastal battery and can't be killed by most planes. Now, you could say a hunter can get it, but a spaded TU-4 player will kill a hunter. Like, they'll kill hunters too. Um, and the thing with that is they can still outrun jets because, as we know, jets don't really have that good of a climb rate. And the ones that do have good climb rate are always situated on the TU-4's team, right? So you can say the MiGs are really good at climbing, but they're on the TU-4's team. You guys would know that the Hunter, the F-2, they only climb really well after they're going baby 1,000. Then they have to just pitch straight up and go up. So the thing is, they need space to get that speed. They can't just climb up in a 30 and reach these planes it's it's practically impossible and a good tu4 player is going to pitch that bitch into a 10 he's going to bomb the base and he's going to keep flying straight 
So you have to fly underneath him and then come up and then go around. And then while you're doing that, the MiG-15s on their team blah, 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 kill you. Exactly. Like, that, that's my biggest issue. Um, and I want people to know that it's not the same for all bombers. I am mainly talking about top tier. I guess maybe I didn't specify that enough. Um, fuck it, make modern war thunder. I agree. Let's do that. Uh, this is mostly bitching. Every time I get spotted while flying a bomber, I'm fucked. Uh, Italian American, I guarantee you, you are not flying TU4s or B-29s. You're probably flying a TU2 or, uh, BV-238, which is fine. That's a good one. I'm disappointed in you, Slick. Are you just another bigoted fighter pilot who cannot understand the difference planes have roles? I specifically state in this video that attackers, ground pounders, have a, have a place in War Thunder. I just think that strategic long-range bombers, they don't represent real life, what they did in real life. And that's another thing, too. So a lot of people want to make the argument about war. War is, you need to adapt to war. But War Thunder isn't real war. You don't die when you get shot. You know, it's a game. And the thing is, balance makes games good or not. Why do you think Counter-Strike has like lived so long? It's because of the fact that it is a balanced game. Whenever they introduce something that's a little wishy-washy, they fix it. And the thing is, I know a lot of people who have left Jet Combat and top-tier prop gameplay because of these issues. Strategic bombers in real life didn't fight at the altitudes they fight at. You know, they fought at higher altitudes. They flew in huge formations. If saying if you're using a realistic excuse for bombers, but War Thunder doesn't re represent a realistic bomber, then how how are you how are you putting those together? Because a realistic introduction of bombers would be a formation of hundreds of B-17s whenever you fly them out, hundreds. And like that's what I was trying to get at with the event thing. I want that cinematic experience. When I fly bombers, I get bored. All I do is fly straight and drop bombs. What I want is to fly straight and drop bombs in a formation of hundreds and get attacked by like 30 planes, you know? And like imagine that cinematic sense. You're in a formation of hundreds of B-17s and there are a bunch of 109s attacking you and you have AI P-51s defending you. Imagine that as an, as an event. How cinematic, how gripping would that be? We're talking about using the in-game engine's AIs and ability to run, into, making it into like this immersive, epic battle. And I'm not saying like that's the only way you could fly bombers, but imagine that as a, a game mode. That would be fucking sick. I think everybody's just thinking that I'm hating on bombers. I, I want to play bombers, you know? Like I like the B-29. It's iconic. Don't get me wrong, and I'm sorry again that this is like a ranty long video, but I really urge you to watch it because I want you to see my side of this, you know? Let me get a sip of this. It's going to be a voila. And all of your points in the Vulcan are wrong. It is not faster than anything else in the game. Well, the Vulcan in a shallow dive can go Mach 1 plus. No other plane in the game can go Mach 1. Um, you can think that they can, but they absolutely cannot. The Vulcan can withstand speeds that other planes in the game cannot. It has a better climb rate than the Hunter, um, and its service ceiling is higher, I believe, than any plane in the game. It's about 1,700 meters. So the, that's that's my issue with the Vulcan. It is way too fast for the meta right now. I, would I want it in the future? Fuck yeah. If we have F4s with Sidewinders and fucking MiG-19s, mm, give me it. Give me the Vulcan, dude. It's a beautiful aircraft. And these guys who made it made a fantastic fucking representation of it. But my thing is, people, and I'm not even, I'm not even saying this about Weeby or Snozzletoff. They put their hearts into this fucking plane. But there are a lot of people. After the coverage, you know, Fly makes a video on this thing, and he's like, "I want it in game." But I don't even think Fly, like Fly, doesn't want it now. It it can't come in now. But a lot of people watching the video think that it can come in now. And these are people who don't play top tier, and they don't understand that it wouldn't work now. So we have a bunch of people parading for the plane to be added. And, you know, what does a guy do if they see that? And they have this beautiful model. What if they implement it? I'm just praying they don't. You know, they don't implement it without a counter. Because a lot of people think that, oh, well, it's a huge surface area. you super easy to hit. It's like, that's not the point. It can outrun any plane in a dive and outclimb any jet we have. Its service ceiling is higher than any jet we have. Maybe people will die in it, but the trolls have a new platform to fucking run. 
And that's the whole point in this video is like, it's not about the good bomber pilots. It's not about the people who are good sports and try to fight it out with me. It's not about the people who try to bomb the bases and go back and land. It's about the people who exploit the system. And there are a lot of them, you know? And uh, that's, that's my biggest issue is a lot of people exploit the system, you know? And oh, okay, okay. There's fuel all over it, defending the Vulcan and the other tier jets are needed badly. The Vulcan and other top tier jets. This is true. But if they add the Vulcan, they can't add it by itself. I want bombers and you have to protect them to their target. This is another issue. Bombers get a four and a half thousand meter um, height, right? Off the bat. If you're a fighter on their team, how are you going to climb up to them? Realistically, how are you going to catch them? You really can't. I mean, not even even the best 109s can't climb up to a B-29's altitude to protect them. Like, and, and then you're going to tell me that a, a Merlin P-51 is going to be able to catch that in a climb. Definitely not. You can't catch the B-29's to protect them. So if there's going to be something where you protect bombers, I'm all for that too. If I have to protect bomber pilots, just give us all the proper air spawn. I remember there was a, um, what's it called? There was a game mode. Um, where there was B-17s and they would fly in a formation and you had to protect them in P-51s and P-47s. That was a good game mode because both planes, so the P-51s and P-47s spawned above the B-17 formation and the 109s and Dora spawned here. And the B-17 formation was in an AI formation. I'm thinking something like that needs to be permanent. That was such a fun game mode. And I'm not saying that, like, I want you to know that. I think you've gotten the point by now that I like bombers and I want them in game, but I want to figure out a different way for them to work because as it stands, they do ruin gameplay for some people. And that's another problem too, is a lot of people who fly bombers are saying like, well, what you want to ruin gameplay for us? It's like, no, but I don't want you to ruin gameplay for other people as well. You know what I mean? So as it stands, it is kind of an issue. Um, all right. So this, would you like to play against computers or real people? What's more fun? You want to ruin the experience for bombers so it won't ruin the experience for you. Someone who's very open about not liking bombers is going to be very biased against them. When making a fix, there is a reasonable sized bomber community and they have opinions as well. Playing against only AI wouldn't be as fun as real people. Um, people want to play their favorite bombers against real players. And I understand that. And that's what I've thought about over the, the night is I, I've thought about there should be players too. I get that. Um, I guess fighting AI wouldn't be fun because I would not want to fight AI if I'm in a, a, a normal plane. That's not fun. Um, poo face. This suggestion sounds like absolute shit. Favorite that. Um, so basically you want bomber players to learn how to dogfight and stop playing bombers or play them in their own game. That's not quite fair. I can't play fighter planes at all okay uh attackers and bombers is what i enjoy most i do like the thrill of being chased by other planes or other players being chased by ai won't be as fun the error be as fine as is people could always play around bombers act like as escorts and have dogfights revolving around the bombers where the fighters either try to pronounce or pounce on enemy bombers while the enemy tries to defend them or the other way around. But oh well, that's just my opinion. You know, Splashy, I don't hate on your opinion. Um, but I don't want bomber pilots to learn how to a fucking dogfight. Not at all. That's that's outrageous. I don't think I ever said that. But what about the interceptors whose only purpose is to shoot down bombers? This is another point. So there aren't any planes in the game that are only designed to shoot down bombers and used as interceptors. There's There's none. There are interceptors in the game. But they're not the type of interceptors this guy's thinking of. All of them have use as killing fighters. You know, that's 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 it. Um, and if they don't have use killing fighters, they have use killing tanks and ground RB. Strategic bombers don't fit in ground RB either, by the way. I don't know if you knew that, but they don't fit in that either. So that's 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 another point. Why do people get to bring B-29s into a fucking, like, ground RB game? That's, that doesn't work. Um... See, look, Alex, I, I salute you, but not a lot of TU-4 pilots do this. Not a lot of TU-4 pilots get the TU-4 and when they're out of bombs dive to 1,000 meters. No.
See, this whole dog fighting isn't the whole point of the game. Why were fighter planes in first? Why why weren't the T why wasn't the T4 a main addition? Why wasn't the B29 a main addition if dog fighting wasn't the point of this game? I think dog fighting is the point of Air RB. I think that's the biggest meta of the game. I think people enjoy having fighter versus fighter combat. There's a lot more depth to it than flying a fucking bomber. And that's my point. I love bombers. I think they're dope. I think it's cool that they get to bomb shit. It's fun to bomb shit. It's an easy way to grind. But th it has no skill. There's no skill involved in it. Uh, AI gunners are easy to use. You don't have to, like, fucking... Uh, there's no delay. You know, they're automatically aiming where you want them to. Um, and don't even get me started about long-range bombers and sim and how they break that because you can fly in third person and just aim with your guns. Um, so that that's that's my my problem is the bombers have a purpose, but it's so specific and they can't do anything else besides it that it's like I wanted them to be in a different type of game mode. I think if there's going to be a bomber in the game, maybe they can change the matchmaking to where like if there's going to be bombers on the team, everybody gets an air start so you can defend the bombers and they attack the bombers or something like that. I have no idea. But um, I, I don't know. And I'm, I'm pretty much done with this. I think this is kind of dragging on. I got my points off. There's a lot of people who are mad at me for my opinion. I'm not going to stop making War Thunder content. Um, I'm not going to stop thinking of ideas to fix this because I do have a big issue with the bombers running. <laughs> Personally, I don't know if people do it because they see me in game or whatnot. But I have a big issue. If you want to talk about this issue and you don't have the V29 or the TU4 or any top tier fi uh, fighter that faces them, Please don't. Just don't comment. Save yourself the breath because I'm not attacking what you do. And I'm not attacking your tier, all right? Um, because you, there's no way of you knowing. You know, <laughs> Unless you play it in-game, there's no way of you knowing. And I would say the 400 people who like this video have had a bomber run from them. They've probably had a, a bomber run from them, you know? And it's not fun. It is really not fun. Because as much as the bomber players in this comment section are saying... Well, we have a purpose. We have a purpose. They don't understand the fucking feeling when a player is out of your reach and you cannot get them. If a B-29 gets into a game with all 262s, it is... Oh, it's so infuriating. Nothing on the German team can catch them if it's all 262s and Hortons. And I've never... Like, I kid you not, my blood boils because these B-29s stay at 5K and the 262 cannot get up to 5K. It is so frustrating. <laughs> it's so frustrating, guys. It is, fuck, it's so annoying. And I guess that's a problem with matchmaking or spawns or where people spawn. And I get that. There's a different solution, you know, but we need to come together as a community to fix this because a lot of bomber pilots are are happy and a lot of fighter pilots are not happy as you can see by this so these are all the bomber pilots 120 people 408 people like this video that means 408 people four times the number of people are having an issue so clearly there's something right we need to talk about it um i would suggest that if you want to dislike the video that's fucking fine if you want to get mad at me that's fine <laughs> that for bringing a problem but uh i think that we need to talk about it. We need to talk about it. We need to do something about it. Um, so, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll have a video later on today. I've been very busy recently with um, make, uh, playing in the 77 tournament. We're in round four. We lost yesterday to this, like, the people who won the Thunder League last season. So, they were fucking good. Um, but we won the game before that. So, we're in round four, I think, and loser's bracket now. So, see how we do today. Um, I should have a video, like I said, later out later on today. And I'm working on a Vickers MBT video. I know that was voted for most recently in uh, the request series. So I have to unlock it first. I'm pretty close to unlocking it. I'm saving gold. I have gold, but I want to save it. So when I unlock it, I can just gold it and have that five second reload because I think that would be pretty dank. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Hope I didn't step on too many toes. See you in the next one.